this is an art form that requires a lot of time, patience, and safety equipment. We're taking a look this morning at a local chainsaw artist who's become quite a YouTube sensation because of her work. Tanya joins us in the studio with that story. Hey, good morning, and some of her videos have hundreds of thousands of views. Her pieces are shipped all over the world, and uh, Griffin Ramsey actually has her studio in East Austin where her inspiration comes from. Power tools are Griffin Ramsey's paintbrushes. Every piece of art starts off with a piece of wood. And little by little, her chainsaw starts revealing her next character. Well, I've been kind of coming at it from a more pop culture, um, magic, fantasy sort of, you know, direction since that's what I'm interested in. Griffin's fascination with sculpture started at a young age. And I grew up in Oregon, so I did see chainsaw carving done on the Oregon coast growing up as a kid, and it was sort of enchanting. Originally, Griffin was involved in set design and props for theatrical productions, but wanted her work to last more than a few weeks. She remembered how much joy she got out of the small carvings she saw her grandfather do. I wanted to do it for years, and I was too scared to try it. I mean, my husband gave me a chainsaw, and for about six years, I didn't do anything with it. And then one day, I just got brave enough. Griffin prefers large-scale pieces, and those often start off with a sketch. She then starts cutting off the bigger pieces, leading into the smaller hand tools. And now, with the years of experience, Griffin has quite a following. More than 65,000 subscribers on YouTube. She makes videos that show her progress on different pieces. She also travels across the world to compete in chainsaw carving. Watching something come turn from a lump of material into like a shape that people recognize before their eyes is pretty exciting for most people. And I get excited watching them get excited. I think of it as a performance art or like a sport. Griffin tells us some pieces take days, even weeks to complete. And at times, the wood dictates what it's meant to be. I whittle away and kind of find it somewhere in the middle. That's why it takes me a while. But um, part of that is just because I hardly ever carve the same thing more than once. And Griffin puts out a new video every Wednesday on her YouTube channel. To get more info or to buy some of her work, you can go to her website, griffinramsey.com.